Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to do some table saw maintenance. I've noticed that my table saw is cutting a little weird. It's causing a little bit of burning. So we're going to go ahead and use this guy. This is the eye gauging table saw gauge. So we're gonna use this to align the blade to the miter slot, and then we're going to reinstall the TSLS positioner and get it nice and dialed in. So if you wanna see how I do it, stick around. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the blade is actually at a 90 degree angle. So we're going to take a woodpecker's square here. This is the, we're going to put it just right up to the blade. And that looks pretty good right there. So we're going to check it in a couple spots. Yeah, it's pretty square. There's nothing really I can adjust to make that better. It's pretty dead on. Let's go over this table saw gauge from eye gauging. The gauge is attached to a nine inch slotted piece of aluminum that is attached at a 90 degree angle to a six inch aluminum bar. Now this aluminum bar is kind of cool because it has spring loaded ball bearings that will attach to the miter slot and keep out the side to side play. So you just push it down, they kind of engage. Now this thing will not move back and forth and it slides pretty smoothly. The middle button here is your on off button. Just tap that and it will come on and you have a nice big display that's really easy to read. On the left side, you have the button that will change it to inches, millimeters, and fractions. And then on the right side, you have the zero out button. So when you hit that button, you will put this pin right here up against your blade and then you're gonna hit the zero button and it will zero out. This gauge is not as accurate as the indicator dial style gauges but I'm really not looking for machinist accuracy. Okay, as you notice that I have drawn a little dot right here on the blade. We're gonna use that dot to measure the distance between the blade and the miter slot. So the first thing you do is push this pin back, slide it over, and let it drop on the blade. And I'm doing this on the flat part of the blade, not the tooth. So we're gonna get that pretty straight in there. Get right on the dot. I'm going to put this in millimeters and then I'm going to zero it out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the blade to the back where the dot is in the back. And then we are going to see the distance between the miter slot and the blade in the back of the blade. All right, so it's showing 0.19 millimeters. So basically, this means that the back of the blade is pinching the wood that is being pushed through the blade, causing it to burn and causing it to not push through smoothly. Okay, so for the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna completely take apart the TSLS positioner and then we're going to open up the back. I'm gonna show you how to adjust the trunnions. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Michael Long over at MK Designs. He has a video out on the same subject. This is basically how I learned how to do this. Click on the card, go check out the video. He will also show you how to set your blade to 90 degrees and set the 90 degree stop on the table saw. I really need to design a better dust chute to make this more efficient because it's snowing sawdust. Okay guys, to adjust the trunnions, you have four screws on the trunnion itself. The trunnion is this guy right here. This is what attaches the motor housing to the top. All right, to adjust this bad boy, we're gonna loosen this screw, this screw, and there's another one back here, back in the back, you can't see. We only have to loosen three screws. So once we do that, we're gonna tap the trunnion over right here Probably going to need a ratchet to do this. Yep. All right, guys. So I'm going to use King's Fine Woodworking Thor's mallet and a very large socket wrench to beat this into place. All right. So the end of the socket wrench is right on the edge of the left side of the trunnion. And we're just going to tap it. We're not really going to beat it. We're just going to tap it. A little tap -a -roo. Just like that. There it is. Bam. 
yeah, you can get there, but uh, you're gonna have to finagle it a little bit. Now I'll tighten down the front bolt and we are good to go. We're gonna put the saw back together. All right, now I'm going to use some Boston Glide Coat to make the top of the table saw slippery smooth. Now I'm going to put the Inker TS LS positioner back together and dial it in. If you want to see the installation video of this table saw fence, go click on this card right here. It's one of my more popular videos, so uh, apparently people like the Inkers. Thanks guys for watching. As you can see, doing maintenance on the rigid R45 table saw and the TSLS positioner is not too hard. It only took me probably about an hour. Actually, it took about four hours because I had to move the camera around and record stuff and then re-record it because I sounded like an idiot on the mic or I didn't have anything in focus or, you know, um, yeah, I didn't like the shot. Everything was out of frame, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for spending time with me today. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel. Hammer that like button and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.